This is section 2.3, Basic Limit Laws. In this video, we're going to go through an example that's really similar to number 27 through 30 in your book. And this is a problem where it's telling us the limits of these undefined functions, and it's asking us to find these other limits using the information given. So at first, this looks super confusing, but actually, once you go through this problem, you realize it's pretty simple to solve. So looking at this first part here, it's asking for the limit as x approaches 2 of 1 half h of x times g of x. Okay, so we're going to solve this the same way we've been solving these problems in this section, by splitting up the limit using our limit laws. So we can use our multiplication limit and just separate this out into three separate limits. So this becomes a limit as x approaches 2 of 1 half times limit as x approaches 2 of h of x and times g of x. And from here, I have values for all these parts. For my limit as x approaches 2 of 1 half, Whenever I have a constant, the limit is always just equal to that constant. So this becomes 1 half. <clears throat> for this limit, they tell me that h of x is equal to 3. And for this last limit here, they tell me that this value is equal to 4. So I can just plug that in. Multiplying all this out, you get that this limit is equal to 6. And that's it for part A. Moving on to part B, we're going to do the same thing. There's just a little bit more to split up. So here. I'm going to start with the biggest part that I see to split it up. The biggest part I see is one thing being divided by another. So I'm going to use my quotient rule and split this up into my numerator over the limit as x approaches 2 of my denominator. And now both of these things can be separated out further. Up here on the top, I can use my addition rule. And now it becomes the limit of g of x plus the limit as x approaches 2 of 5. And all of that is over. On the bottom here, I can just move this power to the outside. So it becomes the limit as x approaches 2 of h of x, all of that squared. And from here, this is about as far as I can uh, simplify it out. So now I can just plug in all of my values. So here I have a value for the limit of g of x, they tell me is 4. Plus, remember, the limit of any constant is just always that constant. So I get 4 plus 5 on the top over uh, the value they give me for h of x is 3. So remember, there's still a square here. So I have 3 squared on the bottom. Simplifying this out, on the top, I'll get 4 plus 5, which is 9, over 3 squared, which is 9, which just simplifies out to be 1. And that's it for this problem. We just uh, simplified out these limits using our basic limit laws, and then we're just able to plug in all the values that they gave us in the question. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sid Rich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.